Good morning, STM. I was reminded very early this morning by my five-year-old that there are only 10 days until Christmas. Immediately, my mind jumped to my ever-growing to-do list. The food to prepare, the rooms to clean, the presents to buy and wrap, and other various family commitments. Obviously, my train of thought was written all over my face when my son reminded me again, Mommy, there are 10 days until Christmas. Why do you look so worried? The excitement and joyful anticipation in his big blue eyes caused me to take pause. And I was reminded that although my to-do list would always be there, that I needed to pray and take a moment and think about peace, calm, and to pray for the childlike Christmas joy that my son was trying to share with me. Please join me in prayer as we quiet our hearts in joyful anticipation of Christmas. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, master of both the light and the darkness, send your Holy Spirit upon our preparations for Christmas. We who have so much to do and seek quiet spaces to hear your voice each day. We who are anxious over many things look forward to your coming among us. We who are blessed in so many ways long for the complete joy of your kingdom. We whose hearts are heavy seek the joy of your presence. We are your people walking in darkness yet seeking the light. To you we say, come Lord Jesus. Amen. St. Thomas More. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In closing, a wonderful way to prepare for Christmas is through the Sacrament of Reconciliation, which is being offered today in the chapel between 10 and 1230. Have a blessed day, everyone. Good morning, STM staff and students. I'd like to take this opportunity now to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and looking forward to a great new year. I'd like to reiterate what was sent to parents and staff yesterday regarding the uh, distribution of the rapid antigen test, which will begin today. In the letter sent out yesterday, it states, in an effort to promote a safer return of the classroom after the winter break, on behalf of the Government of Ontario, the hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board is pleased to be able to provide take-home rapid antigen screening kits to every child who attends a publicly funded school in Ontario. So we asked teachers if they haven't done so already to make sure they've picked up their class lists in the staff room. Please make sure to either pick those up in this period or send a runner if you haven't done so already. We will then call a runner down from each class to be sent to the main office. All right, please send the runner with the class list and attendance having been taken. We then ask you to distribute the letter and test and read the instructions carefully. It is suggested that you take a test every Monday and Thursday during the break. We hope this clarifies how things will be rolled out today. If there are any questions, please contact the main office for any more. Thank you everyone, have a great Christmas. Good morning, STM. A few important announcements for our grade 12 and 12 plus students. The class of 2022 potential graduates list has been posted outside of the guidance office on the grade 12 and on the grade 12 LMS page. In order for your name to appear on this list, you must be on track for earning 30 credits, 18 compulsory and 12 electives. And you must have completed your 20 hours of Christian service. Please check the list today and report any discrepancies to myself or to Mr. Silvestri if you are in 12 plus. Students that still require Christian hours, please check the board, uh, the board's Christian service program website or the grade 12 guidance LMS page for current opportunities. Please be sure to get those done as soon as possible. Take advantage of the Christmas break if you can. Your Christian service hours must be submitted by April 1st in order for you to participate in this year's graduation activities. Also, for our grade 12 and 12 plus students, this is a reminder that the deadline to apply to universities is January 13th, 2022. Please take the time during the break to complete and submit your applications 
to avoid any unnecessary stress as we approach the January 13th deadline. Finally, for our grade 12 and 12 plus students, those of you that are college bound, we have a great opportunity in second semester for you to participate in Mohawk College's dual credit programs. We offer four dual credit programs at STM, health and wellness, early childhood education, community and health services, and engineering and technology bridge. This opportunity will allow students to study at the Mohawk College campus taking two courses that will count towards your high school diploma and your college diploma. This is a great opportunity to fast track your college education and get a taste of the college experience while you're still in high school. To learn more about these opportunities and to sign up, please book an appointment with your guidance counselor. Do not delay as spots are limited for all of these programs. Have a great Christmas and have a great day STM. Hi STM, I'm Tana and I'm one of your prefects from the Jesus' Fabrics of Faith Ministry. I would like to remind you that clothing donations for the local homeless can be dropped off at the cafeteria tomorrow before 8-10 a.m. As Lord Jesus commanded us to love your neighbors as yourself, I encourage you to gift a donation to our neighbors for Christmas. Please bring gently used and washed winter clothing that has been stored from, sorted from men's and women's into plastic bags. I hope to see you tomorrow and give you the chance to sign a prayer card that will be given to the homeless as well as take any prayer requests that you have. If you are unable to donate, please pray for our suffering brothers and sisters. I pray that you will be blessed and feel the love of Christ during this Christmas season. Thank you so much and God bless you STM. Good morning STM. My name is Ainsley and here are your announcements for today. Attention all grads. Have you had your grad photo taken yet? If not, new dates have just been released. Check the Grade 12 LMS page for details and for the link to book your appointment. Don't forget to make note of your date and time since a confirmation email will not be sent. Also, have you submitted your grad quote yet? If not, please submit it. Once again, the link and information can be found on the Grade 12 LMS page. Grads, don't miss out on these opportunities to great graduation memories. Book your grad photos and get your quotes in ASAP. There will be a, a diversity meeting tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. in the library. All members, please attend. Sports. Period 2 teachers are asked to dismiss members of the boys hockey team at 1 p.m. today for their game against Newman. Congratulations to the senior boys basketball team who improved their record to 3 to nothing last night with their 73-59 victory over SJB. The Knights were led by Zuriel Malongo, who scored 16 points, and Sam Kong and Elijah Barnes, who both added 10. Who both added 10. Practice tonight at 6 p.m. Last night in the Battle of the Mountain Schools, your junior boys basketball team improved their record to 3-0 on the season with 53-40 win over the SJB Braves. Amar Wright led all scorers with a game high, 17 points. Practice today at 2.30. Go Knights! SDM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.22. Have a great day.